This is tutorial 8-1 in the GIS Tutorial 1 workbook. Geocoding data by zip code. I'm on page 286. Geocoding data is the process of taking some kind of address information and translating it into a location on a map. So the first thing we want to do is open up tutorial 8-1, which I've already opened. And we see a map of Pennsylvania. And uh, this is broken down by zip codes. And we want to save the map. So let's go to our file and do a save as. And we're going to put this in our exercises folder, chapter 8. And I'm going to call it tutorial 8-1. I'm going to put my name on the end of it. And now we want to look at the table of contents over here. And um, right-click the attendees table. Let's go click here so we can see the data. So this is data, but it's not uh, it's not a layer. So uh, let's right-click on this, and we want to open it. And what we see is we have a bunch of information about people who attended an event, and we have their zip codes, and uh, we want to take that zip code and, um, you know, relate it to the zip code coordinate on the map here. So using the table options button, click the select by attributes button. So we're going to select by attributes. And the attribute we want is we want everybody from the state of Pennsylvania. So we're going to do state is the field name and equals is the relationship and then we're going to get unique values here and we scroll down to the p's and we want pennsylvania click on apply and all the ones most of the people in this list are from pennsylvania so we're going to get uh, almost all of them are going to be blue uh, 1124 out of 1265 and then we close it when we're done and um, it says using the table options button, click the clear selection button and close the table. I didn't do that. Let me see. Let's open that up again. And let me clear the selection. So we were just looking at the data to see which stuff is from Pennsylvania. Okay, now we're going to create something called an address locator. And uh, we want to go to the catalog window over here on the right, and we want to navigate to the chapter folder, chapter 8 folder of my exercises. So uh, that's going to be on my computer. It's in the srepress gist1 folder, and we want my exercises. And um, we want to go to chapter 8, and we want to right click on the chapter 8 tutorial geo database, and want to tell if we want to create a new address locator. And the create address locator window, which is this window. Uh, click the Browse button for the Address Locator style. So here's our Browse button. And uh, we want US address zip five digits. So right there, five digits, and click on OK. And our uh, reference data is going to PA, be PA zip, which is this file over here. So let's click on that and choose PA zip. And for the output, uh, change the name from, uh, let me see, my exercises. Um, and I think I want to put this in the same folder as my other, as my map is in. So let me go here and... Um, I'm going to leave it. So, um, but they did say to change the name to PA zip codes. Okay, now we're on page 288, and we want to click OK. And it's going to, okay, well, let's put it two on the end then. So I was playing with this earlier. So uh, now we'll click on OK. 
and so now we have a locator called uh, PA zip codes 2 and um, you see down here in the lower right hand corner it is still working uh, I'm going to close this and see if this is done yet And I think this pops up when it's done. It's getting kind of chopped off here for some reason, but there's a little uh, green check mark there, so I think we're good. Now we are on uh, the bottom half of page 288. And in ArcMap, we want to click Customize Toolbars Geocoding. So Customize Toolbars and Geocoding. And it'll put a little toolbar up there for us related to geocoding and we want to click the geocode addresses button which is the little mailbox here and uh, click Pennsylvania zip codes to select it or zip codes 2 in my case and click on OK and click the option button for single field and select zip code for the complete zip code field so um, let me see so that's right here and I want zip code okay and um, change the output name to attendees zip so instead of the default here, uh, we're going to call this attendees zip. And then we're going to click on OK. And what it's doing is it is taking the attendees data with the zip codes and it is pairing it up with the corresponding zip code in our PA zip map. And when it gets all done, it should tell us that it has done 100% of the records. Uh, some of them did not match, and those are the 175 that were not from Pennsylvania. Um, or some that are from Pennsylvania, but they're maybe coded incorrectly. So um, let's click on Close. And we see dots there for uh, every zip code that has... Um, some attendees from it. Okay, uh, now let's go to page 290. And what we're going to do on the top of page 290 is um, we're going to count how many there are in each zip code. So uh, we want to right click the geocoding result called attendees zip. And so there we go. And want to open the attribute table for it. And so this is what we ended up with. And we want to right click the match address column header, which is right here. And what we want to do is we want to click summarize. and change the output table to count attendees so we're going to just do count attendees here and when it asks us we want to add the, res uh, the result table in the map click on yes and close the geocoding results table here and now we're on number four right click the count attendees and so and we want to open that up I assume and then we want to right click on count match address and um, so right click on that and do sort descending and so we're going to get the one with the most matches at the top and um, there was um, a bunch of them that we could not match. Uh, and then this is probably the Pittsburgh area zip code and so on down the line. So it's telling us how many there were in each one of those uh, zip codes. And um, now it says we can close the table. 
and then we're going to go on to uh, your turn. We want to join the count attendees to the Pennsylvania zip. So uh, count attendees and PA zip. So um, so we're going to select. Uh, let me see. So let's do right click on count attendees and do join and relates and tell we want to do a join and we want to take the um, okay so the field in this layer is the match address which is the zip codes and what we want to match that up with in the um, Let me see. That is count attendees. We want to match that up with the um, PA zip. And we want to use the zip code field. So that's correct. Let's go ahead and validate the join. And uh, okay. And click on close. And um, Okay, and then we're going to click on OK. And so now we have the Pennsylvania zip. So we need to add another copy of the Pennsylvania zip feature. Um, not sure why we need to do that yet. Because um, if we go ahead and open this up, um, it uh, appears to have you know all of the zip codes. It's got 1,487, and I think that's probably all of the zip codes here. And um, okay. Um, now we want to fix and rematch zip codes. In the table of contents, click the geocoding result attendees zip uh, right here and click the review rematch addresses button. Um, I'm sorry, not click on, not right click on, but click on it. And here's the button for reviewing and rematching. And we get this window and, um, Scroll down to the record with object ID equals 50. So I'm going to make this a little bit taller here and see if we can see a little more stuff. And then I'm going to see if I can, yeah, I can move this. So we're going to go down to, um, where is object ID? And I'm not seeing object ID. Um, let's try FID equals 50. Okay. And the address is 414 South Craig Street. Let's look over and see if that's really what that is. And it's okay. It's this one right here. 414 South Craig Street. And scroll down and select that record. Scroll horizontally and adjust the field widths. Okay, we don't need to worry about that. And notice that the zip code is missing for this record. So somewhere along here, the uh, zip code is, okay, it's missing. And so with that row selected, we want to type 15213 in the complete zip code field down here. So we're going to type in 15213 and um, press tab and then click the match button. And our count goes from 1,090 to 1,091. And, um, okay, and we're about out of time here, and we're at the end, uh, except for the your turn part, we're at the end of the tutorial, so we're going to stop the video right here.